Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Far Cry 3. Uh, last episode I got my ass kicked and died. But I did kill a guy mostly. Two guys, in fact. Uh, let's take a look at my skills, see where I'm at. I'm doing pretty good. Uh, actually, I'm gonna need to craft more weapon holsters if I want more weapon. Uh, weapon holsters. Goat skins, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna need to track down... I'm gonna track down goats. If you... Dogs. Horphan point. That's cheerful. Let's cut a bloody path of devastation this way. You know, let's like that way to the main quest. They can't get new stock in from the remote villages. And trust me, they got Oh, hello. See, like this island is this is an island of adventure, you know? Everyone's all about like, yeah, be super violent, be murder, fight guys. It's the way of the Rakyat. And Voss is like, I'm a pirate. I am. I am a nemesis. You know, I. I am. I've made myself into. Oh man, really, guys? He had handgun bullets, but I might need to take this anyway. The gun, I need. Keep hitting shift like there's gonna be nitro. Oh god. I can- I, I can handle this. Level it out. Come on, Jason. Level it out, Jason. Level it out, Jason. Get out of the car, get out of the car, get out of the car. You guys didn't need that, right? It's like the quietest AK ever. Where are they at? See you on the mini map, you guys. The hell was that? Nice. Let's loot that bod. Let's dash back and see if there's anything else in here. There is. I guess I could talk about Voss. See, yeah, Voss is a Voss is a pirate. You know, pretty plain and simple. Open and shut. He's a pirate, and that's okay. He does piracy things. Uh, he's one of those scary modern pirates. I joked that this game was written after someone watched an episode of Oprah, but, you know, it, it could be. What do I need for this one? Cassowary, huh? This one needs dingo pelts, right? I need pig hide for that. Oh, and I totally, totally forgot to sell all my crap. Oh boy. Okay. Got charger, got rego. down, back down, back down. There we go. Can I save? 
I don't know if it'll bring me like right back there. Nope, I'm nowhere. I'm nothing. I see him. He's Oh boy. Oh boy. We are coming in from the west. Where's the box? Come on, where's the box? Say so if you're trying to uh, liberate a uh, a place and it doesn't really work out. They can call for reinforcements. Now, I could try to take them out stealthily, but I am holding a shotgun. Hmm. Let's put some points into skills, huh? not. Yeah, show me that shit. Now, a grenade would go down real smooth right here, because look, they're all clustered up, they're all next to the jeep. It'd be amazing. Nowhere? I'm nowhere. I'm nowhere, guys. Is that everyone? I think they're all mostly looking away from here. That guy's coming up, but I might be able to stab him in the throat. Come on over here. Wait, I've got this. Yeah? Yeah, you want that, huh? It's a rock. Come on. I've never killed anyone before. I don't think I could even possibly do it. Don't worry, Brody. You're a natural. Oh, yeah, I got a meth pipe. You can't use the meth pipes, FYI. I know you're all very disappointed that I can't get high on meth, but don't worry. There'll be plenty to get high on in this game. Now, instead, it's loot that you sell. Yeah, yeah, go look at that. Go look at the rocks. Pretty shiny rocks. Doing that. You can do this. Come on. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay, okay, we're good, we're good. Right, let's reload this thing. Alright. What is. Is that a grenade? Oh, it is! Go on, go get it. Go on, dude. He's outside of the wall, which means that you're alone. You abandon your post.
<laughs> nice. A little bit of the uh, uh, stealth breakdown. But you know what? That's okay. All right. Uh, let me go to the gun vending machine. Quick sell. Yeah, there we go. All right. Body armor, huh? That ought to help. Nah. I can craft more. Narcotic mushrooms, eh? Nice. Alright, let's sell the crap. Two whole dollars, nice. I've got some decent money now. I could, uh, it might be smart to buy some stuff. Pair tool. Oh, yeah. And I'll just leave it like that for a bit. Nice. Uh, and let's put one of these on there. Let's get the hell out of here. Good work. But they stole Kill him with a knife. To do here. Check out the bulletin board. Let's party then. Oh look, they're friends. Come on. Do this. Use needles. This is a recycling something to something of an extreme. Like, come on, man. Are we really in that scarce of a, of a society? I know that we live in one. Of a warrior, you should take a look at the jobs on the bulletin board. Like, dirty used needles? Ugh. But yes, um, I wanted to talk about this game, uh, not just because uh, it's the anniversary of it, not just because I like it or my dad likes it or anything like that, Two whole dollars. Nice. Oh, I got two grenades. I don't know what button it is to throw them. That's a rock, right? I hope it's a rock. I love the little hula girls on these. But uh, yeah, Far Cry 3 is an interesting piece of world building. It's not the most interesting Far Cry in terms of world building. Though it is one of the better Far Cries in general. And you know what? I wanted to play it. I also wanted to get some clout for playing it on the anniversary of its release, which is why I'm doing this. Game map for seven years, I think. Oh, fine, I'll just get out. I can sprint 140 meters. I assume. So body armor reduces damage you take, which boy do I need that. Um, that's pretty significant. Extremely important, I would say. Especially when I've only got three little blips of health there. But yeah, this is mostly, uh, I, I'm using this episode, this hour, to, to buff my character up because I am not going to be able to survive this game uh, without this main story, I think, without getting some bonus shit first. Um, getting the bow might have been good, because the bow is completely silent. I don't know what it is, but like all the games in uh, the late Xbox 360 era, all about the bow and arrow. You know? 
maybe it's because of Hawkeye, or maybe it's because of the Hunger Games. The Hawkeye of uh, Marvel's The Avengers, that is to say. But like, yeah, they were all about the fucking bow and arrow. Like, Laura Croft, most iconic character ever to use two pistols ever. I mean, not really, but, you know. Iconic user of dual pistols. In the new, in the new Laura Croft reboot, she does not use her dual pistols until the last two minutes of the game, and instead spends most of the game using a bow and arrow. Crisis is a completely straight-faced military shooter that's about as realistic as they come. And then Crisis 3, wouldn't you know it? Bow and arrow. There are more examples. I'm sure I could think of more. But yeah, a lot of a lot of like 2013 era games, all about a bow and arrow. Think. All right, yeah, go in there, dude. Shit. That's the cap. I lured him in there, huh? Music's getting really hot. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Much better that time, much better. Nope, that's my special gun. I want, I want the goodies on your corpse, dude. Thank you. Pat him down, see what's going on. I'm getting like weird double vision because I can also see my own recording. Nope, nope, nope. I'm nothing. I'm nobody. I don't know why you're looking over here because there's clearly no one. I love how he stopped looking in the middle of me shooting a guy. Or stabbing a man, rather. Alright, now hopefully I won't get surprised. But yeah, this cell takedown is actually very um, forgiving in this game, I'll say. Because you can sprint right the fuck up to a guy and just clean him out. Nice. Loot that body. Yay, use needles. You know, maybe it's more about Jason, who, the guy who's picking them up. Like, can you clean a needle? I know that it can be done, but like, can you do it I guess at home, or do you need like equipment for that? Because I imagine you would need like some more serious gear to clean a needle. M is map right. I'm here. So let us go here and do a trial of the Rakyat. I will talk to Dr. Earnhardt later. But this is where the island first like really opens up for you. So yeah, it's good to get in here and, you know, get around, do some stuff. Gather some plants. Useful or otherwise. Today. This is a good game. This is going to be more of a chill stream, but I am going to talk about hide and seek. Okay. Why don't we try it? Bloody, is this a bloody palace? It is, isn't it? 
This is the bloody palace. This is so interesting. I love the uh, the sounds that silence just make in movies and video games. Because, like, they don't do that in the real world, everyone. Just so you all know. A silencer sounds like a a car door slamming instead of a uh, instead of a gunshot. Like it's a it's a thud instead of a boom. Like guns are loud. Having to get my doom fingers going. Come on, Jason. Oh, it worked. Damn. Hey, I did it, though. That's cool. Well, I've done it. That means that I don't have to do it again, right? Not as the docks. No, thank you. Please, you're too kind. Wait, hold on. Are we gonna... Rip teddy bear? $26. Those don't exactly look like American dollars. I wonder if they are. Maybe they're like Rakyat. Dollars? That was a bird. Really getting up close and personal with the island here. You know, very friendly wildlife. Oh man, there's armor right there. Damn it. Shit. Ah, uh, if only, if only. Damn it. Goat skin, eh? I've seen a lot of goat skin here. A lot of goat skin, and dog skin, and boar skin. Okay, so I'm on the lookout for goats, boars, dingoes, dogs. Oh Christ! Yeah, don't worry. I played this game before everyone. I played this on the Xbox 360. That eagle is my friend because we are eagles together. We're flying. Come on. I played Minecraft. I know how an elytra works. Yeah, eagle. I like how it tells you to use bailout with caution. I've never been gliding. I hope it's fun. Nice. Like a glove. See, so yeah, gliders will allow you to get around the island a lot quicker. Which is why they're fantastic. However, they're also situational. If only there was something to fix that. Hey, for those of you who haven't played this game, there is something to fix that. So I picked this game up on Steam in this massive sale that consisted of every Far Cry game. Uh, so, naturally, I bought every single Far Cry game. Because, God, I'm not an idiot. It's every Far Cry game. Including the really weird ones, like Blood Dragon or Primal. Not here. So they've got body armor on, so hopefully this will help. Get up. Okay, it didn't help. Oh, well, that's nice. I'm right here. No, dog, be quiet. Else you may seal your fate. Oh, I have to attack them all again. Okay. 
I love that even though they're pirates, they do have a sense of style about them. Consistent style, no less. Like, they all wear red shirts. They're all very specific about um, how, like, I'm, I'm a shotgun guy, so I'm going to I'm gonna have these clothes on to go with my shotgun. And I'm a, a different guy of, a diff of different styles. Like, I'm the, I'm the double machete guy. I'm the Molotov guy. That's the animal that I can free? Actually, aren't cassowaries hard as fuck? Yeah, now that I think of it, cassowary might be even better than the tiger. That's a simple water purification machine right there. Get in the pond. And now I will vanish into the water. Like a ghost of the sea. I got salt in my eyes. I'm stuck down here as well. That's fine. Alright, animal friend. I'm freeing you. Did I free that animal friend? Get under the thing, Jason. Oh, here we go. Wow. Yeah, I got like two-stepped there. That wasn't good. That wasn't good. Where the hell am I now? God, I'm all the way out here. Shoot. All right. So we're heading. Let's go to this radio tower, and then maybe I can uh, hit that first. And maybe that'll give me a little bit uh, more of a heads up about where the hell I'm going, what I'm doing. See on this car. All things considered, I actually am excited to play um, Far Cry 4. It'll probably be a while, because, like, that game and this are remarkably similar. And they're both good. I think this one is better, but, you know. I might, in fact, play all of them. Oh, God. Land it. Uh, like a glove. There we go. Um. Hmm. So it's not a submersible. I'm, I'm, uh, is that's what I'm picking up, right? So depending on the game, some of them have. Um, I mean, let's be frank here. Almost every fucking game uses these big Ubisoft towers. Uh, but depending on the game, sometimes they have uh, different ways of using them. Sometimes outposts and towers are the same thing. And also, this game didn't invent them, but boy, did it popularize them. This game, uh, this game, people lost their mind over this game, you know? They called this game Skyrim, but with guns, which is a very stupid way to name anything. It's like this, but with a different game mechanic. Like, yeah, it is. In fact, dude, if you think about it, Final Fantasy is like Skyrim, but with anime. Halo 3 is like Skyrim, but without guns and not an RPG. You know? This guy's the limit, game journalists. I have please let me go. Are you an enemy? Because if if you're not, then hey. Hey, you. that's fine. 
Oh wait, hold on. I was gonna loot them. Hey, I'm over here. See, one of the things about um. Hey you, over here. I can't believe it. You saved me. Hey. Thank you. Okay. Well, fine. Um, one of the things about this game is that like it sh it shows a lot more world building and attention given to the island. Because, like, let's compare, let's talk about Skyrim in this game. You know, in both games, there's always pirates or bandits or some shit, you know, somewhere that you can always go, someone to kill. You know, there's always someone to fight. There, there's a fight to get into, there's combat to enter in. You're always going to have something to do. Side quests or loot or anything. Uh, the thing about uh, Skyrim versus this is that on this island, uh, this island's a shithole. Like, it's beautiful, but holy shit. Like, it kind of sucks. What's the, uh... Because, like, God, there's fucking pirates everywhere. It's miserable. Yep. And, like, on that merit, it sucks. And, like, if Skyrim uh, was a little a little closer together, I think that this map is smaller than Skyrim and more attention given to, like, the society, then, like, yeah, more of the people in the towns would be, like, scared of bandits and, like, it would be treated as, like, a really bad place to live because it is. This won't hurt, right? Me, everyone. Cocaine. Nice. That'll sell up good, right? Can you cook cocaine? Like, I know that you can cook. Th this is this is a total apples and oranges thing. But like, you can cook with marijuana by infusing it into butter and making you know hash butter, wheat butter. Can you cook with cocaine though? What are the drugs that you can and can't cook with? I'm curious. I mean, if you want to be like a suburban white mom, you could be like, I cook with cocaine. Sometimes I even put it in the food, you know? Like with wine? No? no. Oh, come on, get up there. Get up there, Jason. So, uh, Jason Brody has some no-name guy voice acting him. Uh, which is kind of stark because originally he was supposed to be Elias Tefexis, uh, a well-known, I think, Montreal voice actor. You know, Canada man. Uh, the reason that they... Oh, here we go. Follow the ropes. The reason that they didn't go with that is because uh, shortly before this game came out, Deus Ex Human Revolution came out, where Elias Tefexis provides the voice work for one of the most iconic characters in video game history, particularly in single-player games that don't have a character creator. Um, and like, holy shit, if this game comes out and Adam Jensen is also the voice of the protagonist, like, speaking English with the same accent and everything, it's not a chance, man. So they very quickly swapped out the voice actor for someone else. And that's why Jason sounds like he does. I think it's a good change because Jason is a schlubby guy. Like, he's not, like, fat and unathletic, but he's not a Superman. Oh, this was a... This is, yeah, there we go. But he's not a Superman. Um, and making him be that, I think, is a little odd. I think he works a lot better just as, you know, some guy who almost falls into adventure, but first. And, like, he doesn't know nothing about nobody. You know, he gets here, he's, he's, he's just some guy, you know? That's all he is. And so I think having an unknown voice actor is a lot better for that. 
So Far Cry was actually one of the uh, one of the inspirations for another one of my series. Is um, the Raw My Notes Asher's Journal. Uh, Far Cry was one of the um, inspirations for that. Every time. Okay, so... Temple of Stone, eh? Well... And let's uh, grab a skill point as well. Um, hmm... Hmm. These all look pretty good. Those all look pretty good. I'll grab this just because I want to. I was hoping. Hey, it's Pigos. That doesn't ruin the skins or meats in or anything, does it? So what do we get? Pig skin? Boar skin? Take hide, nice. Show me crafting, huh? Hell yeah. Dog skin, eh? That needs boar hide. How about this? Cassowary leather. Goat skin again. Dingo pelt. Goat skin. Deer hide. Alright, next we're looking for lots of goat skins. Where is this fucking thing I'm looking for? Let's try a different approach for Valsa Docks. Let's make some more syringes, huh? Seven, eh? Okay. See, there's a whole lot to do in this game, and I'm kind of afraid of getting distracted. So, uh, you know, I'm going to try my best to not fall victim to the LP tax. Recently, I read a comment, thanks, Daisy, where uh, I tried to explain what LP tax was in a video, and then I got distracted while I was explaining it. And they were like, you never, you never, uh, you never explain what LP tax is. I was so embarrassed. <laughs> Like, oh yeah, I'm trying to talk about this thing where I get uh, I get distracted, and uh, I got distracted in the middle of explaining it. You know, explaining the thing where I get distracted. God, I was so embarrassed. Someone just fucking shoot me! Oh my God! Going after him! I was really hoping that I was going to be able to stealth that out. We are coming in from the north. North, huh? If only I knew my. Sorry, dog. Can I have your skin? Fuck. 
Thank you. Whoa, 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 whoa. The guys on the boat really <laughs> didn't help there. What did they say, lick? All right, um, I'm getting the sense that that might not happen. But let's try once more. This is risky because there's guys on that side. Back away. Back away, back away, back away. There we go, there we go. Now hopefully I can grab that dude. So yeah, that castle where he fucking got out and I hate it here. just wrecked shop, I guess. Freakish. Don't know where those dogs are. Don't like that. But there's only two guys left. One of them's a charger, which is definitely a problem. I can't wait to fuck someone. Hey! Oh my god! Did he just say he can't wait to fuck someone? Oh god! Oh god! Please! Cool, that's it. I like how Jason is invisible during those. You know, he just disappeared. Oh, it's a rocky yeah, cool. Completely stealthy. Just ignore all the, you know, all the murder. Mr. Cassowary, time for your appointment with Dr. Brody. Right. I don't know if I'm going to do all the racing this things on camera. Me. I'm probably not going to do the poker games. Um, but I might do some of them. You know, show just for the sake of showing it. God. I can get rid of some of these red leaves, right? I have a feeling I'm not going to need uh, all of them. Shotguns, I guess. Damn. Getting one of these would be useful. Oh, cool. 
I used all my money. Yeah, um, the game kind of incentivizes you to use your money just by the simple fact of... Like, you only carry so much of it. Which is really why they do that. And I think that's smart. Um, it's like, hey, may as well use it. Goat skin, right. What do I need a cassowary leather for? Or hide. Heavy duty. Nope, that's dingo pelts. Wallets. And I need dog skin for that. Okay. Let's go see if we can't hunt some more. Hey, fellas. To continue hunt some more cassowaries. We should take a look at the jobs on the I think it's east of here, right? Take a look at the chart chart, Jason. See if you can go do some of the island busy work. Yeah, there's a lot of side quests in this game. And uh, not all of them are worth something. Like, sometimes I really feel like they're just put in here to just fluff out the game. You know, make it a little more... Give it a little more oomph. So where is... Here we go. Cash monies. But yeah, right now all I'm working on is avatar strength. Not a lot of philosophy discussion as well. I've noticed that of all the games that are uh, uh, playing any game on hard mode, the easiest ones are usually stealth games. Because like AI can only get so good, especially within one game's engine. And like if the AI is not good at noticing you or if you're really good at playing around the AI on low difficulty, it probably won't be a problem on high. I wanted to get that out of my inventory. I have too much of it. Now, show me the cassowaries. Yeah, that sounds like cassowary. Now give me your meats. Dinner time. Thanksgiving dinner. We need shark skin. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Um, I'll Google what everything that cassowary leather needs is. Everything that needs cassowary leather. What the hell? Everything is that needs cassowary leather. Jesus. All right. And then I'm here. The quest is here. Temple of Stone. Is that DLC or something? Uh, I've decided just now that I actually want to uh, go from the south up to the north. Right. Sometimes um, I wonder why they even put like loot in this game. Because it's just reduced to like such simple stuff. Like it's just like I... I just don't know about it, you know? It's kind of weird. Orphan Point. That sounds cheerful. Yeah, as I've, as I discussed, Rook Island, great place to have an adventure, awful place to live. This this island's a shithole. Like, it's beautiful as all get out. Let's be frank here, but dude, there's fucking pirates everywhere. Every time, every time. Um, let's go here first. I feel like that's a little closer. Of course, it's at the top of the hill that I just left down. And then I can start heading west, I believe. 
If I know my cardinal directions, and I don't, but, you know. My cat's crying, he wants dinner. My fucking legs. If God is merciful, and, you know, I don't know if she is, but might find a, uh, some goodies up there. Nick this fella open. Like, Jason is never... Uh, Jason's never gonna get used to skinning an animal. And by now he's, like, so practiced at killing men that he can, like, just stick a knife through a guy's throat no problem, but, like... Uh -oh. Somehow never gonna get good at killing animals. Or skinning them, at least. You know what? Maybe he won't get good at killing animals. Maybe it just won't happen. But yeah, this is why I'm taking this episode to, uh... To just buff up and... Get my shit going. Because I feel like I'm gonna need it, you know? Tell you what, I'm really excited to play Far Cry Primal, but I wanted to get the cloud for playing the uh, this game on its anniversary. So yeah, that's a uh, mystery solved. Also, I feel like this is a good game to LP. A lot of my uh, content is uh, calm or ASMR focused, and I feel like this is a game that you could probably put on in the background. I don't know. It's a very nice game to look at, at the very least. That bird just started hovering like a VTOL before actually opening its wings and flapping. That was pretty rad, I've got to say. Is that what I think it is? It's a monitor lizard. It's a fucking... It's a Komodo dragon. Ew. Ew. That's Grody, says Brody. Like... Dude, you just saw your brother get shot in the neck, and also you killed, like, you killed, like, 30 people. Go! You know, it's a true fact that goats are the prey of Komodo dragons. Goat skin. Now, am I saying that... Yes! Or wait, no. There was other things that needed goat skin. Boar hide. Yeah, there we go. That needs deer hide. Okay. <sighs> yeah, sometimes this game will like fuck you over a little bit because it's like, hey, this thing's ready to craft. Oh, uh, you wanted this? Sorry, we already told you that this was ready. <sighs> it's just a little annoying. You got to keep your eyes out for it, just in case. But yeah, um, that second slot is going to go to the bow. Since that'll permit me to have a silenced weapon. And also the bow in this game is pretty fantastic. If I do say so myself, and I do. It's very good in spider playthroughs, or uh, spider heavy playthroughs. Sometimes, I'll be honest, I just go around in circles on these things for minutes because I'm just so fucking lost. Brody's, uh, uh Jason, Jason Brody's, uh, climb speed on ladders is actually pretty impressive. Um, I don't have a problem with it. Like, sometimes you just get up ladders and they just take so long to climb. It's painful, you know? It hurts. It hurts. It brings me pain. The vistas that this game offers are pretty fantastic. Oh, 
right. So when I say 100%, I mean the uh, actual like challenging parts of this game. I don't really know if I'm going 100% everything, including like... Dashing assault. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to 100% things, even including like the climbing challenges. Dragonov, I think. Because yeah, I don't think those are as fun. Um, and they're kind of in this game just to, just to kind of act as filler. You know, because like they built this huge fucking island, um, and rarely. Oh god. Land it, Jason. Okay. Yeah, normally you don't really need to go around the island, and this game could just be totally linear. But they wanted you—they wanted to give a reason for why you go around the island. This guy's either having a really good day or a really bad one. It is one of the things that I notice, because like they're all like racing challenges and just like yeah, race around the island, duh, idiot. Isn't that fun? Don't you like it? Oh, hey guys. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to do those. I'm certainly going to get all the outposts. Uh, and all the main missions. Also, I don't know if um, adding upping the difficulty is going to affect those at all. I might do the Rakayat challenges since those are, you know, Bloody Palace. For those who don't know, Bloody Palace is a term that means... Um, like combat challenges, essentially, uh, arena fights, that sort of thing. Um, the term comes from Devil May Cry, which is, wow, a waterlogged Cuban cigar. Yeah, in Devil May Cry, that's where the, uh, that's what that's called in that game. And the Bloody Palace is just like a hundred floor tower of, of fights and shit. It isn't always a hundred floors, but it's a pretty good place to guess. Oh yeah, so uh, Rorschach blots appear on your face whenever you start to sophisticate. Yeah, it can be good to uh, get the map uh, a little wider unlocked early. This is going to be a little difficult uh, approach. Since I'm, like, I'm going to have to storm this fucking beach here. That's the only guy. Oh, we got two guys. A third guy. All right. Let's say sniper crab. We got crab, everyone. Charger, huh? That's going to be trouble. Take that off of you. Cause hey, you're not gonna need it, right? You look huh? over there. I like that dude's face paint. It's pretty sweet, I will say. Oh man, really? So yeah, sometimes pirates will just randomly show up and yeah, that can really uh, play havoc on your attempts to uh, liberate an outpost. Sometimes though, it actually, they'll just leave, um, which appears to be what they're doing right now. Which I like that. I love that he stumbles with it for a second. That was really clean. 
That was really clean right there. Oh, man. This guy's just gone. Hey, two skill points. That's pretty sweet. I'll pick up where, uh, where I'm putting these points, and then um, I'll cut the episode. Yeah, thanks for uh, coming to my little visit of fucking around in Far Cry. As I said, I'm going to do most of this on camera, so if you're not down for a slow, long LP of, uh, you know, a game on the hardest difficulty, uh, buckle your pants or skip it, I guess. All right. Meth. Nice. Oh yeah, memory cards are this. I, f I thought you sold them. Right. Take a look at the chart chart. You got the bullets. Nothing to be afraid of. All right. Oh, excuse me, bro. What does this say? MREs. Nice. I've never had an MRE. I probably should look into that. Who's the man? Me. Who's the man? Me, he says. Use a knife. All right. Let me grab some skills, and then we'll do that challenge next episode. Hmm. Adrenaline. And iron sights. All right. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's another episode of Far Cry 3, everyone. Thanks for coming by. I'll see you guys next time. But I've enough for Bye.